it's time to get interactive with an easy pull tab card. Hi, it's Therese from Lost in Paper and I have had so much fun with the new Space Out stamp set from Alan Hudson and I just had to make a spaceship that was going to be shining a light down and drawing up something into the actual ship. So I thought it'd be really fun to make a pull tab design to actually be able to move the image that's been drawn up. I've seen some cards that really, there's one card that really inspired me and if I can find it, hopefully I can find it, I'll be able to link that card at my blog. But thank you if it's you. I can't remember who made the card right now, but I hope I can find it and link you to say thank you. <laughs> anyway, I am sharing how I created the background here, but if you're not interested in watching the process of how the background came together, skip ahead to the three minute mark and you can watch the actual, um, how the pull tab design comes together and how easy it is. I am using my Distress Inks and the Circle Blending Tool on some Bristol Smooth cardstock because I know that that blends out really well. I've used the stamp mask paper here and I did cut some grass from the landscapes die set from Alan Hudson and I kept both sides of the mask so that I can put the reverse side over top and then actually blend out some green for my grass. I am kind of making it a little bit yellowy because I want the beam of light to be reflecting on the grass as well. So the outside edges of the grass are a darker green for that reason. I also did a similar thing with the sky and I used a lighter blue around where the beam of light's going to be and came in with some black soot around the edges and that just add, added a lot of depth. The center for my light is just a nice bright yellow color. You could do this with dis Distress Oxide inks as well or any inks as a matter of fact. I'm using my Distress Ink Sprayer to add some stars to the sky and lift it up the ink just using a paper towel and that's a really good technique an easy technique to add some texture to the sky and I added a white um, halo on the ground because it kind of got lost in amongst the ink so I thought adding the white ink there would really help and I did come and splatter some stars with some white paint and there weren't big enough splatters for my liking <laughs> So I did touch the paintbrush to the cardstock as well to make some bigger stars. So that's the end of my background. I've already stamped and I'm die cutting two images. I thought it would be fun to have the little doggy from the Good Times stamp set to be the image that gets lifted up into the spaceship. The die that I'm using here is a swing and slide. It's the straight die. It's actually too long for what I need so I'm only going to partially die cut it. So I've kind of made a mark on the back of my cardstock where I want to die cut to and then I can just add the top plate and making sure that you cut it the correct way up to the mark that I've made on the back of the cardstock. That way as I run this whole sandwich through my die cutting machine it's only going to cut to where the two plates are pushing together. So this is a really good trick to actually alter your dies and get more out of them. You don't actually need a die to do this. You could actually just use a craft knife and a ruler and cut a channel that way. It's just easier if you have a die that you can use. And actually you could use some of those sentiment strip dies would work really well here as well. Right, I have the perfect sentiment for my pull tab. It says pull. <laughs> I know, right? You could use an arrow, you could do whatever you like. You don't have to put anything on there and I'm sure they'll work it out. And I'm just using a piece of scrap cardstock and I've cut that down and I am making the base of it the same colour yellow as my beam of light. So it's kind of kind of look a little bit hidden. And I also had to hide where the pull tab was being lifted up from. So I did add some colour directly to the front of the card. Oh, and the pool sentiment came from the Good Fortune stamp set. It's perfect. 
but I did want to create a little tab hole so this is actually a handbag <laughs> I know right I just looked through my dies I'm sure you've got something you could do the same thing with even a very small circle die would do this and basically I'm just making a tab in the top of my card by using the handbag handle and it's out of the city ladies die set coordinates with it one of the leading ladies sets on the back of my panel I'm simply adding some fun foam I've used my ATG adhesive actually I might have even used some be creative tape here because I know it's got a nice strong hold and I've made a channel here for my pull tab so it was a little bit wide initially and I have decided to add the extra strips so it doesn't wobble around too much and I've held everything in place and just making a mark on the pull tab itself to know where to add where my image needs to be which is going to be at the bottom of that channel I've got one of these handy dandy tools these are cheap as chips and you get like heaps in a bag so they're well worth it they're from MFT and they're called spin and slide discs and I'm just using some matte medium to hold that in place because it's got a nice strong hold I am adding some be creative tape to the fun foam making sure not to have anything adhesive near where the pull tabs going to be I don't want it to be jagging on some adhesive so if you are you can use a liquid adhesive or whatever just be careful not to get it near the pull tab and before you attach it to the front of the card make sure you have your pull tab in place and now it's time to adhere my little doggy to the front and I'm using the matte medium again and I want to put him on a bit of a, a funny angle I've pushed my tab all the way down and then I'm just adhering my dog exactly where I want him to sit and I thought on an angle it's going to look like fun when you lift him up <laughs> into the spaceship which I did actually pop up on some foam squares how cool is this set this space out set is so much fun and I added a little Martian inside there by masking the image it's not actually you can use any of the images within it I'm adding a sentiment from the same stamp set and I just cut it a bit wonkily with my scissors and popped it up with some fun foam as well and I'm not sure if you can see it but there was a little smudge in my beam of light so and I thought that these flat sequins from Alan Hudson worked perfectly so I added those around scattered those around to sort of add some details and a little bit of extra fun how cool interactive cards are so popular right now and there's so many really complex designs and you can go all out and there's some awesome dies but I just thought I'd share this one today that's really simple and you can pretty much make it with any supplies that you've got and it's fun so thanks so much for joining me today if you like this video please like it and if you haven't already I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel I look forward to seeing you again here real soon till then happy paper crafting bye